Imagine if I ask you which global issue you'd like to solve. You think hundreds of things are wrong and must be changed, right? But when the question is about our most passionate about solving, everything changes. Because every person has a different point of view about life. Now let me ask you something. What inspires you? Well, in my case, everything that is about racial discrimination or any kind of system of oppression makes me feel really sad. But not just that. It makes me want to change you. My name is Jose Claudio. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. And this is the AF Challenge 2020. As I said, I live in Brazil, which is a very diverse country. And this is something that I'm really proud of, for sure. But you can think that may be such a very good place to live, once they are very diverse and there is any sort of prejudices here. But unfortunately, that is not a true. Even many Brazilians think it like that. At the same time, the Brazil is a very diverse country, there is a lot of racial inequality here. And I can prove it. Brazil is composed of more than half of the population of black and mixed people, 54%, which is 113.1 million of people. We are the second country with the biggest black population after Nigeria. But sometimes it doesn't sound like that. Underrepresentativity is just a piece of everything that represents the institutional racist society that we live. When the slavery in Brazil was abolished, there was no plan whatsoever to reintegrate the huge population of more than 4.8 million of African slaves in society. A lot of people today believe that there was the perfect scenario of freedom, a new life, the same opportunities, equality, but that is not a true and not that easy. And we feel the impact of this responsible decision now with it. The racial democracy myth made us think that. The fact about just in 289, 1690 years from now, a black man received the same salary than a white man. Basically 200 years after slavery is something normal and they deserve that. The young black people who didn't have access to basic education being the main victims of violent deaths is because they were criminals. The 71 out of 100 murdered people being black and brown is because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. The unemployment of black population 63.7% corresponding to 8.3 million of Brazilians. While in white workers the index is less than 9.9% is because they prepared it more. That 61.6% more than half of Brazilian prisoners being black and brown is something normal. That 23 minutes a young black man be killed in Brazil, victim of police violence, is justice. That in a country with more than 100 million of black people not being represented on movies or national lecture is something natural. But no, this is not natural. And nothing is going to change if you just accept this reality city waiting for a miracle. Racism in Brazil is in a culture, is in a language we speak, and we must not face it just as an identity problem, but with public politics. They highlight the race in the school, in the Congress, in the health, in the economy. We must debate it as a real and historical problem. We must recognize our privileges and realize who they were built on. I know that it's hard to deal with this stuff, but I was there like a hopeless I remember those that did not have the same facility to access the information that we got today, but although changing their realities. I remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who revolutionized his time and died as a martyr. I remember Malcolm X, who died there defending his rights. I remember Tupac Shakur, Anthony Shakur, Rosa Parks, Nelson Mandela, Marielle Franco, Zubiris Palmares, Ahmad Arbery, who was chased and murdered by two white supremacists a couple months ago. Yesterday, May 13, 2020, we celebrated 132 years of the abolition of slavery in Brazil. But there's too much to be done. And we must continue the struggle to repair those who have been systematically marginalized. As Angela Davis once said, in a racist society, it's not enough to be non-racist. We must be anti-racist. Thank you.